Well, as the sign says, Janie and I, we can't help ourselves. We've got to go in and have a look. We're on the way. to go on a bushwalk the first part of it was virtually straight uphill so we haven't even really started the bushwalk and we're already tired all right so Janie and I are here we're doing a um, what would you call this we've walked up the valley where the river was and now we're doing like a walk the through trail. the tree trail yeah in, oh, um, in Beaver's Bend um, state park so it's actually really nice really beaver's peaceful. actually not the animal it's the name of the original the owners yeah. Mm. yeah and uh, the the wife of the, the couple was full-blood Choctaw Indian here in uh, no not Arkansas Oklahoma, Oklahoma. yeah <laughs> we're in Oklahoma now <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to carry on. Well, this concrete slab here that you can see out in the middle of the, the bush at uh, Beavers Bend is actually the original homestead of Mr. and Mrs. Beavers. We've got these cute little covered bridges all the way through. Janie's uh, just come up with a, um, a pertinent point about the, um, the trails, the hiking trails around um, Beaver's Bend. So, what's the deal? Oh, they are not signposted. There is no markings to show the trail, where one trail ends and the other starts, or where you're joining it. We were looking for the mountain lookout point. Apparently we passed it and there is no sign saying that we are there. Yeah, so um, if you do do the trails, go and pick up a map, they're available at the Heritage Centre. Um, and just be a little bit observant about which way you're turning and which way you're going. There's a lot of little trails running off all over the place. Um, try to stick to the main trails. Uh, the markings are very few and far between, I have and not the seen any. yeah, they, they are they're little little round discs with a little hiking person. Um, and the trailheads are marked, but when you come to spurs in the trail, you need to be very very careful which way you go. Just something to bear in mind. Up in the back there, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it. There's a um, a little tunnel which runs under the rope. That was actually made by um, Human. like the yeah the, the triple C what was it? The community something something. It was a it was a initiative put in place by Roosevelt during um, the depression to get people out working and doing things. And they had thousands and thousands of people going into the forest and doing um, putting in drainage and all these things. And these things are still here and they're still functional, still working for that. One thing to watch out for in Beaver's Bend is the poison ivy, or poison oak I think it is, or poison ivy. Um, this is around the toilet block um, and it also lines the, uh, the sides of the creek beds. Okay, so this is Acorn Loop that um, has water and power only, no, no sort of connections. Okay, this loop is called Cypress, obviously because of the trees. Um, and again, it's only power and water, no, no sewerage. Uh, so, yeah, nice little spot, a lot of trees, very narrow road. But I'm sure uh, it would be perfect in summer. Now, it looks like they have all of these um, pretty much brand new cabins available for rent as well. So they've got a double bed and um, uh, bunks so you can sleep two adults and two children 
We've got a kitchen, dining area, and a bathroom. So, very good. Okay, so this area here is called the group camping area. There's nobody actually staying in here. I presume this only opens up during summer. And uh, this is the Buckeye campsite. Um, there's 28 of those and they're full hookup. And that's where we are. There's our happy little van in number 28, which is only 28. And our shiny car, because we just washed it. So. There we go. I'm going to try to get this in. So it appears that there's also a witch's coven at um, at Beaver's Bend, um, and here's the cauldron for the uh, for the coven. And of course, there's all the seats for them to sit around when they're having their high council. <sighs> and we're back to where we started from with our mammoth walk. Okay. Okay, behind me is a um, like a Native American um, sculpture. It's not done by Native Americans. It was it's a, done as a tribute to Native Americans to raise awareness of. I'll try to read it out really quickly. Raise the nation's conscience to the plight of the Native Americans. So apparently these are being put in all 50 states. So. I think that's a real big challenge to try and find them all um, and I don't know whether Jamie and I are up to that but this is quite magnificent I'll try to give you a big look at it it's it's a huge thing it's carved out of an old cypress tree fantastic okay well, Beavers Bend also has what's called a forest heritage center uh, now this actually goes through the history of the area as well and um, has a museum attached to it out the back. I would allow maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours to get through if you want to read everything. If you just want to do a walk through, maybe at least 30 minutes. Great spot to come up, don't have a look. A lot of stuff here to see. Now Beaver's Bend has a uh, nature centre, uh, which is behind me. This uh, basically tells you about the, um, uh, the geological history of the area, plus um, uh, highlights the wildlife um, that you can find in the area as well. So that's an interesting little spot. It only takes about 30 minutes to go through it, but uh, well worth going in and having a look and reading everything. This is the Beaver's Bend um, swim area. So this is just slightly up river from the power station um, and down river from the sluice gates. Uh, so it's an area where there's not huge volumes of water dumped. Um, so it's safe for swimming and um, kayaking and doing boating and those sorts of things. Well, as the sign says, Janie and I, we can't help ourselves. We've got to go in and have a look. Kevin? Don't, don't fall in the river, don't get drowned. Okay, so there is a absolute ton of water going over here. Now, further upstream that, that way, there's a, um, a hydro dam. And there's a siren that goes off whenever they release water. And when they release the water, you can hear the siren. When they release the water, this apparently increases in height. So that's really, really interesting. Are we gonna get wet when the um, flood of water comes down? So it'll be really interesting to see if the uh, water level rises or not. Well, we're pretty close to it now. It's only... Are we walking somewhere or not? 
we can. You have to walk under that, it might go off. Your game? No, I think we wait until the next siren and then we dash. It's a bit of a better angle to be able to see how much water is flowing through there. It's really a flood. So this is Broken Bow Power Station, which is upriver from the um, where the sirens were. So when they release water through here, the, the, they run the sirens before that. All right, so we just heard the siren for the... Um, uh, for the power station go off um, so the volume of water has actually increased quite significantly coming through the power station here now uh, so we'll hang around a bit and um, see what it's like when it shuts down maybe it's not going to be too long if it's going to be too long then we won't going to hang around Okay, behind me is Broken Bow Lake. So this is um, uh, the, the man-made um, dam uh, infrastructure over that side there, um, which formed the lake, which then powers the power station that you saw earlier. So there we go. This is all in the um, in the state park. You're nice and comfortable. More better than standing up. It's quite nice. So we've walked, walked two miles so that you can get your free Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, yeah, don't disturb me, I want to check my notes. Okay, um, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, T-Mobile -T um, service is really bad here. We're actually up at the um, information centre um, and museum and we're connected to their uh, Wi-Fi, which is why Janie's phone keeps doing strange things. So, would um, would you come back and stay here again? Uh, no, I don't think so. Reason? The Wi-Fi is no, no good Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, it's a beautiful park. Um, again, it is beautiful. Again, if you have young children um, and you want to get away for a, a few days, um, and get them disconnected from all of those things on the internet. Great place to bring them, I think. Okay, so um, we would probably come back for an overnight stay. It's a, it's a great spot. Um, it's got a full hookups. Um, we wouldn't make a special trip back here, uh, but happy we're here, happy we came. Nice spot. Okay, see you next time, guys.